Well, good morning and welcome back to the channel. Just have a quick cuppa before we head off down to the allotment. Um, but what I thought I'd do this morning is just quickly show you how those canners that I divided last season have come on. Um, they're absolutely huge. Um, so I thought I'll show you that. Quickly show you um, the fence that I was trying to green up so that gives you an idea of how far that's grown. Um, I have bought one or two plants for um, doing the garden around the hot tub um, but not being able to get hold of everything that I needed up to press but I'll show you that when we get down there. So let's take you down and show you these canners. So as you can see on the way down to look at the canners the um, fence has started to green up a little bit. This Clematis Montana is making its way along the top part of the fence. And then here we have the Clematis that hopefully will scramble along this panel. And then the crazy mad mile a minute which has virtually covered that triangular trellis there and I do know next door in my daughter's garden it is making some headway all the way up that side of the path now she gets the sun so this plant is heading that way all the time so I'm constantly having to try and train it round here and get it in amongst these trellises to um, to clove this side but that's not bad for one season. It's not bad for one season. And as you can see, I've got these baskets, but they actually hang on to this, this trellis here, but on this side. Right, I'll show you the... Um, I've zoomed in there, oh, that's why. Oh, there we go. Um, I'll show you these canners. Look at the size. Are those that one over there in particular is absolutely massive and this camera's out of focus yeah they've grown some I mean they're still in the pots but I would say that they're easily easily six foot um, as I say I had plans for doing this garden since we had the hot tub put in. Um, I'm not into artificial, but I saw these and I thought they're an ideal solution. I didn't want anything growing up above and around the hot tub because when the wind blows, it blows it in and it blocks into your filters. But these were on sale at a local um, retail store um, and they were, they were 20 pounds a piece. And I don't think they were bad. So I think we've got about two, four, six, eight. There are about 10 there. Um, but I think that does a job. It does look quite nice. But the canners, as you can see, go from there, right the way up to there. These um, Crocosmia have got to move. They're in the wrong place. These Crocosmia here are as tall as me. They need to go right on the back of that fence. So I've taken some pictures and that's what I'm going to do. I bought a tree fern. Now, I couldn't get over the cost of these. Um, they were, I think, for a four foot tree fern, it was going to be £960. And I says, I ain't paying that for nobody. So I've just got to have a little bit of patience. And this one's going to have to grow into its space i bought one or two other plants but i'll go through those um as and when i've got yet to start the um water feature well i think things have developed it was going to be a water feature and basically i was going to stone around that barrel which has got a pump in it but i think what we've decided because this part of the lawn doesn't get much sun and we're constantly getting moss we're thinking of making this an actual pond and 
bringing a wall from here all the way around the front of that and into there and then making a pond, a raised pond there. Uh, but that's going to be a winter project. I've started to gather the stone for it, as I said before, of which there's a piece there which I just cannot summon the energy to carry down. Um, I think one of the son-in-laws is going to going to have to come and do that for me. Right, what I'm going to do? Uh, yeah, I've ordered a banana plant. I went to order two, um, and I, there was only one left, and that might be um, to my benefit um, because he says that this one is it's got a trunk of about four foot on it, but he says it's nearer six to seven foot with the with the leaves. So that'll give me an idea when I put that one in the garden of whether I do need two or not. Because I've got to put those in, in sheltered, you know, this tree fern and that uh, banana plant in a sheltered position. So I've ordered that. That should be arriving Monday, Tuesday. So we'll talk about the plants and the other plants that I've got um, once that arrives in another video. Right, now let's get ourselves off to the allotment but before i go i'm going to show you my hanging baskets at the front of which i'm particularly proud this year they've done really really well to say of the start we've had to the summer yeah, as i say i'm particularly proud of the hair racks that i've done this year they've done really really well um there is obviously the hair rack in the middle there and then there's a pot underneath each one and a little pot on top of the ledge there, the stone ledge, um, with Nicosiana in. I've never seen Nicosiana as big as that. Uh, but it does, it does look great. And also, just in front of the window there. So yeah, I'm particularly pleased how they've worked. They look really well. Right guys, let's crack on and get down to the plot. Lovely sunny morning down on the allotment here. There's a bottle in the middle of the road there. That's not a good sign. Lovely. I can tell already that there's only one plot holder on at the moment. Um, lovely morning. Let's get them jobs done. I love about getting down early. How nice and peaceful it is. You can't hear the road. All you can hear is bird song. Makes me smile looking at these tomatoes. They were on the verge of death. Now look at them. It's amazing how things really do catch up. Let's get up to the top of the plot. The runner beans are on the way. Things have just been so slow. The soil's been so cold. You know, I should have been harvesting a lot of the um, beans on there by now. But, thank the Lord for small mercies. It looks like things are finally on the up. Right. Let's see what jobs we're doing today. <clears throat> Before I get on to what I'm doing today, I'll take you around and just show you some of the jobs that I've done, been doing through the week. Now, I've not got that much done because unfortunately, um, I, I had a little bit of a twinge in my back. Um, I'm of that age now where I can no longer put my socks on, stood up. So I have to take the precautionary measure of sitting down on the bed to carry out that action. Um, and it seems now that I can't even put my socks on, sat on the bed without pulling me back. Um, so I've been out of action for a couple of days. It's eased off a little bit. Um, 
thank the Lord for the for the hot tub because that certainly did help ease it. Um, so I've not had loads, I've not completed loads of stuff, um, but I'll show you the, the few jobs that I have done and show you just one or two of my concerns that I've got still outstanding on the, in the, certainly in the greenhouse. So we'll go into the small greenhouse first. Um, get some lovely tomatoes in here. And what I have done is I've got down to actually getting a lot of these lower leaves off um, to expose all the green tomatoes and there are certainly plenty of them um, so I've stripped those back I've topped um, the uh, the each each plant so nothing is growing any higher than what it is now um, I've yet to do this I've done some at the back here um, these ones seem to be and I think they're Rome, I think, because um, they're slightly different, sort of like elongated oval. Um, so I've got this to do in here, um, but yeah, so they're now finally, hopefully going to ripen off. Right, take you across to the, oh no, before I do that, I managed to get this window in the sun shelter. Um, and also put up the pergola that was suggested by Ali over at the Rusty Garden allotment. So what I did is obviously I didn't want it to be sat on the actual roof itself. So I put on an end piece here that raised it up. And then all I've done simply is put three timbers across to that cross member there and screwed them on so as you can see and then I've also just wedged in between all these bamboo canes and um, so that honeysuckle now has got somewhere to go and I think it'll really come on now somebody did suggest to me wouldn't it be worth um, putting in um, a grapevine on there or certainly starting it maybe at the other end um, now I've never grown a grapevine so if there is, is any such variety that works well outdoors in the UK climate um, if you could leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what that is I'll do a little bit of research and see if that's maybe something we can look to do in the future so all I've got to do in here now is get get this backside cladded out um, and the glass. My son-in-law um, is going to get that for me. I'm just going to take the measurement for him today. Uh, but this is, I call it the sun shelter, but it's a weather shelter really because it works well in the rain. In the sun you get the shade in the in the heat of the afternoon um, but also now that we've got this side blocked in it also protects you from the wind um, now I was gonna give away my um, log burner that fell apart in my hands that we're gonna put in the shed to a plot neighbor um, now I offered him it and he said he wanted it um, I've had it three weeks now and he's not been so do you know what I think I'm gonna keep it I think I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to take from this a bend out and put it out through this wall and I'm going to keep that fire in here obviously back it up um, with some fireboard um, and that might be just somewhere where I can light a fire um, in the colder in the colder weather um, and sit and have a brew um, and this is where we have his breakfast as well so it'll come in handy Right, let's go into the other greenhouse. I'll show you a concern that I've got in there. Here we are in the larger greenhouse where the peppers are coming on really, really well. And the aubergines are coming on very well, in fact. 
I think we have a flower on this one. So these are going to get potted on. That's a job for today. Um, I've still got some peppers here that need potting on. So I think that's going to be one of the jobs. Now, my concerns that I am getting here is this melon has been putting on a lot of flour but never ever moving on to form a fruit. It gets to about there, then it drops off. Now I think it's because the root system has outgrown these pots. So it's something that, you know, um, they're not, unless I can transfer them into something bigger, which I can't, I'm not really going to get anything. So I think I'm going to have a good look round just to make sure there ain't any fruits on them. Because if there were, what I'd do is strip back as much as I could and maybe just leave those fruits on um, and try and save, save the plant. But if there's nothing there, I think I'm just going to, I'm just going to get rid. But I did put a melon in the small greenhouse. I'll take you back across there and I'll show you what's happened there. Here we are back in small greenhouse. Right, I planted a melon down in that corner. I don't know if you remember. Um, I used to put like a propagate lid over it to bring it on a little bit. Well, if I can zoom in, can you see that melon there right in the center of the screen? Um, I think there's two. What I'm gonna do with that is just lift that up, put it on a bit of straw, and I'm gonna keep an eye on this one. Um, because I think this one has got more chance. Now, if I do manage to get a decent melon from that, what I'm thinking of doing, again, I'm putting jobs on the list. You know, the season's not even finished. What I'm thinking of doing is moving this coal frame and putting it round the side of my potting shed. And putting in there just a small six by six greenhouse right in the center there. It'll leave two nice paths down either side so I can maintain the glass on both sides. Um, but I would purely grow melons in that particular greenhouse. So I'd get some really nice, probably two foot, two and a half foot deep beds in there. I'd build some brick beds in there um, or put some timber um, raised beds in, um, build it up to about two and a half foot, get some really good quality soil in there and put, you know, six, seven, eight melons growing there because I do love melon. Um, so if I can achieve something out of there, I might specifically have a greenhouse purely for melons. Now, there you go, Mal. Don't blame anybody for your jobs list. It's all self-inflicted. All right, let's crack on with what I'm doing today. So what I'm going to do today is, as I showed you last week, uh, the lettuce that I had down um, in one of the small beds on the bottom plot um, was pretty much going to seed. So I've harvested as much of that as I can. Um, and I'm now going to sow some more lettuce. This is Romaine Ballon. Um, now, I've got these Gabion baskets, um, which are really, really handy. They are roughly a metre sort of wide and the 300 deep. So they're ideal for, for lettuce. And what I've got as a liner as well is this plastic inner, um, which I got from an old plot. I don't know how I came about it. But what I'm going to do first of all is just put some drill holes in this. just to make sure it drains. Only need about four. Whoops. But I'll go for six. Oh, 
Right, so there we have six holes in the bottom there. That goes in, and all we've got to do now is get the compost in. Watch the back here. Now, you look at this and you think, oh, it's a lot of compost for a few lettuce. And yeah, I suppose there is that argument, but at the end of the day, all this will go back into either the compost bin or onto the beds. So it's not a total, a total waste. It'll go on in the future to condition the soil. So that's in, a bit of a tap down. and I'm just going to simply scatter these across the top give it a little bit of a rake over and give it a water get it in the sunshine and fingers crossed we'll have some more Let it spring it up in no time. The next thing I'm going to do is put on the aubergines, which have raced on really. I didn't think, you know, I got them late. I was given them by a plot holder. I got them late and I really didn't think they'd come to much and run out of season, if you like. But it seems not. So I'm going to pop them on and the other peppers and then I'm going to do a little bit on the daughter's bar, start to clad the inside walls. Um, having said that I did send them a message last night to let them know and I've not had a response so I don't know if they've got out planned today. Um, if they have it can be a well deserved day off can't it? Right, sprinkle some compost on that, over the top. Not too much. Give it a tap down. Let's hope for more lettuce. I've just popped the kettle on. I'm going to give me back a bit of a rest for 10 15 minutes um, and then I'll crack on and pot on all those plants that I've just mentioned. Um, my cucumbers have been cropping absolutely fantastically. I must have had 20 30 cucumbers um, which I've been giving away, um, but they're sort of like now pretty much washed up. Um, I can't see me getting too much more out of them. And there's some seeds on on offer um, at one of the garden centres and there was some cucumber, market more, and I bought them. There's a really good date on them. Um, they've got up till 2028. And I got those, but then I thought to myself, I wonder if I sowed them now, because I do germinate quite quickly with heat. Um, if kept in the greenhouse, I'd get another crop, you know, sort of September time. Um, and I'm not sure, because I've never done it before. So if anybody has put a second crop of cucumbers in around this time of year um, in the greenhouse, um, can you let me know how you went on and if it's worth me doing? If you could leave a comment, um, that would be much appreciated. So I'll wait to hear back from you on that. Right, guys, I am going to call it a day. Um, and a lovely day it is. Um, I'm going to get these few jobs done. Get everything fed, because it's feeding on Sundays for me. Get everything fed. 
um, and then get up home and see where we are with the bar and hopefully get myself sat down by at least 1.30, 2 o'clock. Um, just have a bit of a breather. Right guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, um, if you could give me a like, um, it'd be much appreciated. It would go towards helping the channel. Um, thank you to the couple of new subscribers that I've got this week. It is much appreciated. Um, I will see you next week at some point. Um, until then, guys, take care. Have a fantastic week and happy growing.